when you talk about a small forward, a small forward has to have the responsibility for incorporating both offense, defense, uh, playing within a system, and getting his teammates involved to a certain extent. So we start at number five with the reigning defensive player of the year, the 2014 Finals MVP Kawhi Leonard, who's going to have a much easier job this year. You added LaMarcus Aldridge and David West to the San Antonio Spurs. His job is going to be so much easier, and he's going to have the opportunity to really fill in for when Tony Parker, Manu, Tim Duncan sit out, and it'll be really him and LaMarcus running the show for the majority of the season. So I'm going with Kawhi. We don't really have to go through his statistics. We already know that he's the best wing defender in the NBA right now. Then number four, man, shout out to the homie Paul George, man. We all saw that fall that he took uh, playing with Team USA. He came back last year, didn't really have a, a resume to go off as we look ahead into this season, but he averaged 21.7 points a game, 6.8 rebounds, 3.5 assists, had over a 20 PER back in 2014 when the Pacers were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. You got to expect Paul George. Now he's going to be the leader of the offense. He's going to get in more shot attempts. I'm tuned in to I think PG-13 is going to have a career season this year. Number three, we got to talk about the most complete offensive game in basketball. Carmelo Anthony. People can say what they want about the Knicks. You can say that Carmelo Anthony is not a winner. You put Carmelo Anthony in any era of basketball, anybody with any type of logic of how the game is played, Carmelo Anthony gets buckets. He averaged 24 points, 6.6 rebounds last year. Only played in 40 games, but they added some good vets. You added Aaron Afalo, Robin Lopez. The Knicks will be a little bit better, and we're going to see Melo, a healthy Melo, a Melo dedicated to his game, you, I wouldn't be surprised if Melo finished in the top three in scoring leaders. Then number two, of course, you have to bring this man up. He is the 2014 NBA League MVP, the Slim Reaper, as some call him, KD. Now, KD, you had beef with Stephen A. Smith, and it's all good and dandy because this is your contract year. You averaged 25.4 points a game last year, 6.6 .6 rebounds, 27.65 PER. You only played in 27 games, though. KD, it's put up a shut up, baby. You win a chip this year, I'm putting you to number one, and you take over as the best player in the world. Which leaves us at number one, you know, the typical guy, LeBron James. We don't really have to go into, you know, too many discussions. LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James.